Normal behaviors can be divided into two general categories, innate and learned behaviors. This video will focus on the innate behaviors. Innate behaviors are the inherited behaviors that develop independently of the environment. This means that they're genetically programmed in all of the individuals of a species. For example, newborn babies will all have the grasping reflex, put a little pressure on the palm of their hand, and their fingers will curl up around the object in their hand. Babies don't need to be taught this. In fact, they begin showing this reflex in utero before they're even born. Because innate behaviors are genetically controlled, the evolution of an innate behavior in a population will be quite slow. Natural selection would have to favor a specific behavior pattern over many generations for the change to occur in the whole species. An innate behavior that you've likely heard of before is a reflex. Reflexes are autonomic, involuntary, and near instantaneous responses to a stimulus. They do not require conscious thought to occur. The reason for that is made clear when you see which neurons are involved in a reflex. A simple connection of neurons will comprise a reflex arc. The simplest arcs will need only two neurons, a sensory neuron and a motor neuron. But many reflex arcs also have a connecting neuron in the spinal cord called a relay or interneuron. If you take a cross section of the spinal cord, you will see white and gray matter, as well as all the spinal nerves that branch to the sides of the spinal cord. The dorsal or back side of the spinal cord is here, and the ventral or belly side of the spinal cord is here. A simple three neuron pain withdrawal reflex arc works like this. The pain stimulus causes an impulse in the sensory neuron, which has an axon that reaches all the way to the dorsal horn of the spinal cord. There, it synapses with an interneuron, which sends a message to the motor neuron at the end of the ventral horn. The long axon of the motor neuron synapses with the muscles that will contract and pull the finger away from the painful stimulus. So that's stimulus, to sensory neuron, to interneuron, to motor neuron, to the effector cell. This happens quickly, in just fractions of a second. And because the response goes to the spinal cord and not to the brain, it'll happen without having to think about it. Thanks for watching this episode of Teacher's Pet. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at SciencePet.